Well, it's been a bit of a transit fail. Just spent the last, uh, well, three quarters of an hour probably. Nice carrier back, Darren. No, no, trying to get it out with the uh, Swift 5, but she's not happening due to severe power and traction issues, so resorting to the landing. Uh, yeah, as you can see by the shit up idle state of the front end, we've had some serious traction issues. We're doing a fuel pump change. Um, we're going to inline. <laughs> we're going to inline pump the uh, ship. <laughs> So I've authorised air tool use for all bolts. Um, just taking the slam panel off because it's in the friggin' way. Yeah, I'm going to try and muscle that on there. This uh, tractor pump. Um, it's going to be a nightmare. Input shaft is entirely different, but I'm sure the welder should help us out. Uh, but we need to get this off first to see if we can get it mounted or anything. Right. We're sort of halfway through, fucking half of it's apart, right, this is about to fucking no, come off. Well, okay, fine, not halfway through. We're, we're in the middle of the job. Um, uh, fucking rounded off a few bolts with the air ratchet, that's pretty standard. But uh, that's... That's going to involve monumental bodging. <laughs> it might involve bits of that. <laughs> right, have we got the rat here? Darren! What is that mount? It's the, I'm in service position. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's fold the front end out of the way. Oh, the God. Right, well, it's half a lit through the fucking radiator of coolant on the floor. Pretty standard. Here's the uh, legendary exhaust mod and Darren's now. Uh, well, I don't even know what he's doing. But... You're doing some commentary recently, really. You're trying to get your last bit into the videos before you burn it off. Yeah, the shut up. Well, I'm just sorting out the timing at the moment. Um, Fire reserve 1243, one being nearest to the uh, flight, uh, cam, camera end. I figured that out by looking at the old engine for out of Shed Mark 1, setting the engine in TDC lock, and then looking at all the valves, because obviously the one that's just about to fire comes down, caught return on the cam with both valves closed for firing stroke. So I figured that one out. Uh, at the bottom of the pump, that, this one here fires 2134. So. Right, so you may notice Ruin has almost finished his car. Uh, you may also notice the transit is no longer in here. I got fucking pissy with the transit with a fuel issue. Um, got the pump on, got it cranking. Um, we just wanted to get fuel up from the tank so I could prime the pump and make sure we had delivery uh, before doing the injector lines. Couldn't get no fuel. So we tried doing, so we changed the lift pump, still couldn't get any fuel. Filled it up with fuel, still couldn't get any fuel. Put 160 psi in the fuel tank <laughs> and still couldn't get any fuel. By this point, I was getting rather pe rather teasy, um, pretty stressed. At, hang on a minute, what have I pressed? Fuck, photo, I was still recording. I uh, got rather teasy and may have accidentally uh, put a bar and a household radiator through the radiator. Um, so it's now outside and it's definitely not coming back into at least tomorrow. Um, uh, yeah. Darren, I have a go at that. Fucking hell. To the lube then. Oh dear. The lube is here somewhere. We've just had another breakdown. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. That's fucked it right up. <laughs> Bit much torque going through there, I think. Got a hacksaw now. Oh, fuck's sakes. Can't believe this. Jigsaw. Right, it's taken about three quarters of an hour. Uh, two drills and. Um, well, we destroyed about three drill bits, even managed to snap the fucking stub off this one uh, and completely round the drive hub out, but still. Um, metal swarf in the cam belt is fine, obviously. Is this your smallest G-cam? Yes, that is the smallest G-cam. We have bored a uh, larger hole in here. It used to be for a VE, I've just bored it out to 100mm to accompany the uh, bigger pump. We have to make some new holes now to bolt the pump up to and make an adapter boss, which James is precision the engineering here. Um, yes. Anyway. Right, we're just tapping out the holes on our, well, James's uh, adapter plate. It's the original. I don't mind name. The original. Associated with this. <laughs> just uh, tapping out, well, James has actually already tapped it. So we're going to try a bolt now and realise that we've used the wrong fucking tap. So we'll just take this out. Like that. Ah ha ha! Look at that! So basically this adapter is going to fit on the side of the pump and then the pulley is going to bolt to this and we'll still be able to use the, uh, the um, what do you call it, adjustable slots. 
So he's got to tap three more holes, and then we're then we're laughing. But pretty much, got the uh, original transit pulley here. You see, it's got slots instead of holes, so you've still got some timing adjustment. The original boss which sits in. We've, we've basically made a new one of these with the correct sized hole and spline to fit the new pump. I know. Uh, I really should clear some of that swarf off. All right, she's on. Um, got the boss, the plate behind, four original bolts which you can still slacken off. You've got several degrees of timing adjustment, more than a tooth anyway, so you can have the timing wherever you want it. And then um, that is going to work like a dream. Ideal. Just got to fucking mount it somehow now. This is going to be in the way. But that can be addressed later. Shut her off. All right, we've got a bit of an interference issue with the uh, lift pump on the side of the pump and the inlet manifold on the transit. So um, it seems that the transit engine's actually got basically exactly the same lift pump built into it. Um, we're going to use that and just put a blank. So I've just literally got an advance cap off a of VE, cut two slots in it. I'll point the camera I'm doing. We'll put a bit of sealant on there, a pair of washers, and nut that one down. There's no pressure behind it, it's just the oil sump in the pump. And that's going to fill that hole like a dream. I fucking deal. Alright, I'm just doing a bit more work on the pump. Um, I've had to, on the uh, boss on the inlet, um, it's because it's originally off a sort of chain driven vehicle, as are most inline pumps. The uh, oil in the sump of the pump, because these are actually oil lubricated, um, it's normally fed actually the chain sort of spits oil around and it actually lands on a thing and goes in the front front um, nose on the pump and then it'll just overflow and that's how it so obviously in our situation we want it to be a closed oil which obviously we will change but obviously we won't because <laughs> it's only on a field car but um, so I've actually managed to rotate the thing with the holes move the holes around and um, a bit of sealant just to be sure and put that back on which has hopefully sealed that up obviously we've already sealed this hole up and I'm just currently working out which injector is going to be firing at TDC. Um, I found a TDC mark. You're supposed to get a special tool that actually goes in your top dead hole and actually locks onto a. You won't be able to see, but there's basically a little um, spike that comes around that you can lock onto for TDC. So we're going to work out which cylinders fire in number one on here. Then obviously look at the cam to work out which is the next three cylinders to fire. And um, obviously then we can use that with the firing order off a transit van to know which line which goes to which injector which should hopefully work. Right, we're just uh, boring out some holes for the mountain lug. Like so. We've had to modify quite a few things to make this fit. We had a water flange issue. Um, we've had to cut out oh, look at that. an extra little cut out at the top for the uh, rack limiter cap because that was in the way. So we're going to bolt this on with one bolt a minute and mark up the other holes. I mean, <coughs> other hole. Right, I've got the pump um, mounted on the transit now. We've got a bolt in just holding it in place at the moment. Um, I'm just working on the shaft adapter. Um, that's our original item that bolts uh, originally with the spline fit, as you can see inside there, to the injector pump, um, which we've drilled four holes in tapped out. Um, we've got a brace plate which comes on the outside side of the pulley just to help spread the force from the nuts. We'll probably try and keep that just making up a spacer because there's a slight uh, pulley alignment issue, standard issue. Redneck um, measurements didn't quite work out. So I've just um, made another plate basically to sit between that and the pulley with four holes to line up. And I also had to burn a hole through the middle. Um, I didn't have a hole saw big enough so I made it as big as I could with the biggest hole saw I had. Which would be that one because I've broken all the other ones, I need some new ones. And then uh, the little handy redneck tip of um, if you want to make a hole bigger with an art and all you've got lying around is an art welder, then just burn your way through. So we burnt that hole out and it fits perfectly now. Like factory, I'll just grind those bits of welding blob off each side and it'll be ideal. Alright, so I've got the pump temporarily mounted now with the pulley just sort of loosely fitted. Just looking at cam belt alignment. Um, I mean, pretty much there, possibly another spacer or a shim there or something just to bring it out that extra bit, but to be honest with you, I don't expect it will matter. Um, kind of cut those bolts off because they're a bit long, to cut the back, make a new front plate, I have to weld up a little plate to retain it on the shaft, otherwise this will move forward and back, and obviously that will wear the shaft out in the end. 
Um, and obviously I need to drill the other holes to hold the pump because at the moment it's only held in by one bolt. Um, but that's, that's pretty much it for a minute. Right, we're all bolted on now. Um, pulleys on, pumps on. All secure, belts on. Roughly, I haven't timed it up yet. Just basically to test. I'm going to tighten that cam belt up now tomorrow and uh, motor it through, see what the belt tracking's like. If it's all good, I'll go ahead and tighten the pump up to TDC. Um, sort the inject lines out, sort of fuel feed out, and go from there. Um, but we should be getting close to being running. Um, should be pretty awesome. It's, at the end of the day, it's a free field car. If it goes terribly wrong, it goes terribly wrong.